In today's video, we're talking about IT support, the importance of selecting the right systems for your business, and digital data security. Hello, welcome to Profile Tree TV. We're here today in the Innovation Factory on the Springfield Road, and we're very lucky to have Scott Wilson in from Wilson Computers, who's going to talk about everything IT. So any IT support you need, we've got the experts uh, on hand today. So. Scott, uh, thank you so much for coming in. I will let you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your business and what you do. Thank you for, for having me, Michelle. Um, my, uh, my name is Scott Wilson and my computer, uh, my company is Wilson Computers. Uh, Wilson Computers provides IT support um, and sales to companies in the greater Belfast area. Okay, and so within that, obviously, we'd have a, a massive range of services. What sort of services, um, you know, would you cover? So we would have uh, three main um, types of service. Um, the first would be technical support. So that's ad hoc support, um, where we would be reacting to, to problems when a, a company has an issue, they would give us a call and we would react. Um, for our bigger clients, we would prefer a much more hands-on approach where we can be proactive. We would have software installed that could detect issues and sometimes we can f uh, resolve problems even before they become a problem for the client. Um, the second uh, type of, of service we would offer would be hardware um, and software. Um, so we would supply laptops, desktops, um, printers, uh, network equipment, um, servers. So we can provide uh, the infrastructure for, for uh, running uh, the systems for a business. Um, the third type of, of service we would offer would be hosted security services. So we, we would have uh, cloud uh, backup, um, which is a secure backup system that, that does a daily backup to the cloud uh, and then reports back to us so we can monitor to make sure there's no problems. There'd be um, Office 365, which, which is very popular. It's um, as about as good as it gets when it comes to, to, to hosted email. Um, and it's, it's, it's secure, um, it's encrypted, um, and it, it's, it's um, a fantastic um, subscription that the companies can go for to give them not only the full office suite, but also, also the email as well. Um, we also have a patch management system, um, which lets us keep computers up to date and make sure that servers and desktops and laptops um, and other hardware is, is all up to date um, and secure from, uh, against the latest um, security threats. That's really interesting. So you can really, basically, if somebody's starting out and they have absolutely nothing, you can really go from actually providing the hardware, software, to actually then managing their whole system. Certainly, we, we can come in um, at the start. We can look at what uh, a client would need, um, what, what their um, requirements are going to be go, going forward. Uh, we can recommend systems. Um, we can put in the, 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 the cabling. We, we can install the, the, the network cabinet. We, we can put in the server and we can we can put in the, the, the client um, the desktops um, and the laptops um, and we, we can set up things like remote access and, and make sure that um, they're, they're secure as well going forward. And in terms of that, um, how important is that for a business starting out to get that right at the beginning? Because I know it's a bit of a minefield for most people. It is. It's extremely important and, and unfortunately um, when it comes to IT, a lot of people think that's something that you, you can skimp on um, and, and you will find people who, who start out and they, they do use um, Excel spreadsheets, for example, for, for their accounts and, and they, they go to PC World and, and get the cheapest computer they, they see um, and that can really be a false economy, unfortunately, um, and they end up um, doing things wrong um, from the off and then having to spend money down the line to, to correct them. So it, it's, it's very important to, to get off on, on the wrong the right foot and to, to invest properly at the start so you've got the, the infrastructure and the systems you need to, to, to make your business um, grow. Because as you say, um, probably you would get a lot of clients that maybe come to you when something goes wrong because they maybe haven't put the, the process in place at the beginning, uh, maybe they didn't have the budget for it, maybe they didn't see the importance of it and then obviously when there's a problem it's it's <laughs> you 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 you're sent in to create a solution. Yeah, it's very easy to to, to sell a solution after there has been a problem. <laughs> um, it's difficult, uh, more difficult to, to speak to someone and say, well, you really need um, a backup that's, that's monitored, uh, you know, and, and to, to stress the importance of it because when a, if a backup uh, or a system fails um, and a backup's not there or or the client hasn't um, been monitoring their backup and hasn't been working properly, then um, it can be absolutely disastrous. Um, so yes, it is, it is very important to get these things right from the start. Yeah, and are you seeing, um, obviously Northern Ireland's growing and our economy's booming, well, at the minute it's booming, 
Are you seeing more businesses coming online, needing the, the likes of IT support and um, that maybe they didn't need before? They were, as you said, a bit more traditional. They were using Excel spreadsheets or paper or... Yeah, certainly, uh, I think um, people haven't really don't really have a choice now, but to, to, to be online, you know, uh, uh, social media um, is becoming very important with, with regards to marketing. Um, email is, is, is vital for, for, um, for nearly everything now, you know, so you, you can't really, um, no matter what sort of business you have, you can't really uh, get away without um, being online um, these days. So, so yes, it, it, it's really um, essential for, for a business in Northern Ireland at the moment. Yeah, and are you, um, so what sort of clients would you have? Um, can it be anything from small to big or do you have a, a particular client that... Yeah, well, our, our ideal clients would um, be between, uh, would have between 10 and 50 um, computers, um, but we would support um, businesses with um, soul, tra soul traders, for example, uh, and up really um, in all um, um, different sectors um, from um, car mechanics to, to accountants to solicitors um, to to um, electrical engineers to manufacturing companies we we, we have clients and um, right across the, the spectrum really yeah and did you did you start out in IT or did you start out so, so I, I love these interviews because we chat to people and we say oh you know you're whatever now and it's always a story where they they maybe didn't start out there or were you always in IT I was always very interested in computers. Um, I, I wasn't um, sure I was going to end up doing IT support. Uh, my, my qualification was actually in software engineering. Wow. Um, but um, an opportunity came along to do a bit of, of technical support, um, building computers, that sort of thing, um, and uh, retail as well. Um, and and from there, I've, I've just um, went on and, and, and learned more and eventually ended up um, uh, setting up my own business. So, um, yeah, this has been an interesting but um, very successful journey so far. Yeah, and, and what sort of tips would you get, give to anyone who's coming from industry and then deciding to go out onto their own because it's it can be it can be a really tricky journey it can um i i think it's important to take good, get good advice um yeah. from 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 the right people also to, to do the figures but you see unfortunately a lot of companies who who set up and, and they have a fantastic idea they have um, a lot of drive um and they don't want to get bogged down in the the, the figures or, or the, the the um the facts i suppose and um and a lot of companies can can put a lot of money in. They can invest a lot of the, their their hard earned money. They can even remortgage the house and and um, and end up in, in lots of difficulties if the, if the business doesn't work out. Um, I think that's the most important thing is to, is to plan ahead and, and to make sure that um, that you you know that you're going to be able to to, to cover costs. Um, the other thing would be to to not be to not to be. Uh, not to be frugal, I suppose, when it comes to the important systems. So, yeah. so um, make sure that you you know you you, you enlist a good accountant, to, that you you get good advice, and and you know you get your branding right and, and your message right, and and you, you invest where in the right places, and and perhaps not on expensive uh, desks and and uh, fancy wall art for the office and that sort of thing. <laughs> that can come later when exactly. you're when you when you've you made a multi millionaire profit. That's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and so you your main business is obviously you work B two B, um and and that obviously brings its challenges as well. You know, are there any challenges working B two B or that you can tell us about or well, that they help people maybe avoid? I, I think it's it's the so again this comes down to to the the people don't see the value in some certain yeah. things and, and they don't see the value in in, in um, you know getting a, a good website and or, or getting the their, their hardware right or you know investing in, in a good system um, you know there are lots of um, very good cloud systems now that, that um, companies can use um, that that you they have to pay a monthly subscription for but but it'll manage the whole business for them and, and it will you know it'll show you their um the, their um it'll manage their marketing and and what's in their pipeline and and it'll take a you know a, a job f through from initial contact right through to managing the job and and um 
managing the, the parts that are used uh, and um, right, right on through to, to the invoicing and then the follow up afterwards and um, and it's about really spending the time and, and finding find the right system that, is, that suits yourself and unfortunately a lot of businesses don't, don't um, maybe don't have the time or, or don't um, see see the value in, in, in spending the money um, and they, they would be do it down the line if, if, they, if they last that long. You know, and, and you're say, as you say, it's so important to get those processes in place um, at the beginning. And I think there's a lot of misconceptions about IT and emails and security and encryption and, and people just assume. What sort of misconceptions would you be getting about businesses, about maybe their security online? They think that because they've maybe got passwords on their computer that they're really really secure you know obviously you're meeting those misconceptions every day yeah well unfortunately we we hear about these things um after there there's a problem usually and i it, 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 with the companies we we have a hands-on approach with um where we have our software installed we're um proactively um making sure things like this don't happen and we're giving advice as well to say you know these are the scams that are that are uh, um, about at the moment these are the security risks that are about at the moment and and you should be keeping an eye out for those um but with, with people who we would maybe deal less with and uh, the more sort of ad hoc um, on, a, on an ad hoc basis um so we, we would get calls in and oh you know um I've, I've transferred several thousand pounds into the wrong bank account for example something we're seeing regularly you know um unfortunately and and it's um, yeah, it's really it's really down to, to education as well. You know, you can have all this, the systems in place, um, uh, but uh, if you don't know what to look out for, then then you know you could become a victim to, to one of these scams. So so that's there there, there are lots of threats out there, and it's really about being aware of those and, and having um, a good um, IT company as well who who will make sure that your your systems are protected. Yeah, especially with GDPR coming in as well, and um, and people are really. Every business is, you know, responsible for making sure that that data is secure and safe and managed properly. And obviously, would you have seen a bigger influx in people really thinking about their security once those new rules were released? Yes, uh, I mean, GDPR was uh, certainly we we, we saw uh, a lot of people who weren't taking their security seriously um, previously, and, and they realised well, actually, now legally we, we have to do that. Yeah. Um, they, they should have been doing it already, I, I suppose, would, would, would be my message. Um, things like making sure um, you've got backups that can be recovered from within a certain period, um, you know, uh, making sure your, your laptops um, with personal data are encrypted, making sure the emails uh, system you're using that holds personal data is encrypted when the data's at rest in the cloud. All, all these sort of things are, 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 are things that you should, be doing, should have been doing anyway. Um, and GDPR um, has meant that now people really have to be doing those things. Um, so in a way, although GDPR has, has been a real headache, um, it could mean that um, a lot of the, the, the new systems that, and the, the measures that people are taking to, um, and the precautions that are being put in place will actually protect them from all sorts of other um, risks that, that they could have um, you know, uh, ended up becoming um, prey, prey to um, down the line anyway. Yeah, no, and you're right. I think it's made people just sit up and listen. And as you say, they know they should have been doing it. Possibly they weren't. Uh, and this has just maybe pulled them into line a little bit, which means they're safer and so are their clients and customers. Um, and obviously the big um, news of 5G coming to Belfast <laughs> was released about a month ago. Um, how do you see that affecting um, the whole online structure? Well, it's interesting. I'm not. Um, I'm not even sure they've decided exactly what five G is yet. So it's <laughs> it's all it's all very interesting. But uh, I, I think five um, G will be very important for for companies that are, are in um, difficult um, places where it's difficult to get fast broadband. Um, if you're a, a, if you have a rural business um, and with tax going digital, you know, uh, and and things having to be submitted online, you know, you know, there really is no avoiding going online now. Even if you're, you know, a, a dairy farmer and uh, um, and you're and you're miles from any town, you, you really do need to be um, to be on the internet. Um, unfortunately, um, if you you're looking for for broadband out there, it can be extremely difficult to get. So five G um, seems to be a fantastic solution for. Um, it's hard to reach places that were it wouldn't really be practical for for um, digging up the road and, and running a, a fiber cable um, when it comes to um, 
businesses that are in, in more um, urban areas. Um, I think we're still going to be in the, in the short term anyway. We'll, we'll be looking at fibre to the premises, um, and, and it'll be a case of, of um, having good Wi-Fi within the building um, to get the best possible connection. And I don't think five G is going to going to change that anytime yeah. soon. Um, but uh, it's certainly, it's it's interesting, and, and who knows what it's going to look like in ten or twenty years. It could be we don't need to have any cables coming to to, to any premises. But. We will see. Well, we'll, we'll hold fire on that one because we, we just don't know, as you say. And obviously, um, you manage staff and you've got staff. And I, I, I'm obviously really interested in the education space as well. Um, and, you know, children are coming up. They're digital natives. They are into IT from a very early age. And they've a lot more technical background, I suppose, than we probably did. Now mm. I'm sure my age. Um, what would you say to children who are or young people that are interested in coming into the IT sector, um, what advice would you give them? Oh, um, I, th I think, well, there's, there's a bit of a misconception, I think, when it comes to um, the kids in, in IT, and uh, there's the assumption that, um, that because they're all using technology means that, that they're particularly good yeah. um, with technology. Now, as users, um, I, I think um, kids are, 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 are certainly um, way ahead of what we would have been um, yeah. in our day, um, but uh, the the issue is that there's there's nothing really under the bonnet that they're getting involved with. So there's there's not really when you when you say technical, they're actually they're, they're using systems, but they're not really having to fix them. They're not getting involved um, in in that way. Whereas um, back in the eighties, they had the, the BBC micros in all the schools, and everyone was doing their 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 coding and and things like that. And that that for, off the back of that, there was a there was a real um, sort of revolution, I suppose, and and with, with a lot of that's why I suppose um, the UK has been put, put on the map for for as as far as development goes yes. and technology companies. Um, it, it's really I, I think uh, it would be good to see more of the, the likes of Raspberry Pis and and and, and um, technology that, like that being used in schools where where, where kids can get um, more hands on with with technology and and experiment a lot more. Um, I suppose any anyone um, kids at the moment uh, who are looking for a um, a, a career in, in in technology, then I, um, it, it really I suppose it's, it's picking the right course um, when when you're going to university or tech or university really, and and, and getting getting into the right uh, technical course that'll give you the the the, um, the expertise you need then to go into the industry. Yeah, and you're right. I totally agree. I think as you say. Children nowadays are amazing at using the technology. They could probably outstrip us. I mean, my two-year-old on, on an iPad, uh, probably show me a few things. But you're right, I don't know if they're getting the full support and the, the curriculum maybe isn't as practical as it should be in terms of actually giving them that opportunity just to get hands-on and actually develop those skills and see if it's something that they're interested in because yeah. I think maybe they sign up to the glamour of it all, IT, and it's all very technical, but maybe they don't have, as you say, all the information going in. Obviously, entrepreneurship is really being promoted, especially in Northern Ireland and across the UK. You know, people are really being encouraged to start up and set up and, you know, really pursue their ideas. So if a business did come to you and they're a new startup and they have a premises and they need some support, what journey or process would you walk them through? Well, it could be very daunting for, for a company starting out um, and, and to be going into to new premises. Um, there may already be um, cabling there and, and infrastructure there, um, but if not, we, we can actually come in and, and, and do um, put the cabling in and the, the wall points and, and install a network cabinet. Um, we can also talk to them about what the requirements are and, and what the failure needs are going to be going forward. Um, we, we, we can put a server in, um, we, can, we can supply um, the, the networking equipment, we, we can supply the, the desktops and the laptops. Um, and also the software for to go on them, um, and then going forward, um, w once everything is set up, we can, we can provide ongoing support. Um, so so we we're essentially a, a, an outsourced help desk, and we, we have the guys in the office ready for to take calls. Um, and if uh, the companies we support um, have any issues, um, they can get on the phone, and, and we'll we'll get in and, and connect in, and we can resolve most problems. We can actually resolve remotely, but but if necessary, we, we can call it on site and, and solve any problems for them. And that's amazing. So you literally can take it from blank canvas right through to 
your systems in place and we are maintaining it from, for you. Yeah, that's right. So uh, we, we wouldn't do, f um, for example, VoIP or, or web design, um, but we, we do work with some um, partners who, who we trust and we know we can, we can trust with our clients um, and we, we can certainly recommend um, those if, if, if they don't already have someone. Which is brilliant as well. And as you say, I think a really key point in what you're saying there and, and people really need is that advice. So as you say, it's not just a matter of getting the laptops and getting the systems in place. It's actually advising them for what's right for their business. Because you know, as you mentioned earlier, different solutions are suitable for different businesses and your expertise really comes into play there when you can actually really advise people about what's the best solution for their business. Well, I said, uh, and we, we work with so many different types of businesses in so many different um, sectors that, that we, we do have that um, knowledge and, and we have um, seen what, um, who, um, different um, businesses in different sectors that we can recommend. And it's great that you have a wealth of knowledge and that so you can actually advise people on the different systems that's going to work for their business. Yes, yeah, so there would be a lot of um, industry specific systems so um, it, it's it, it's difficult to know um, a lot about every of system course. but but they all they all work um, very similarly and um, we would um, we could certainly point people in the right direction um, it, it really depends on what um, industry you work in um, because some for industries for example it would be norm very normal to have lots of um, field technicians for example on the road where you have to manage lots of diaries um, for another business um, that's not important at all uh, and that would be a completely wasted feature so so you, you'll find um, that the, no matter what um, uh, industry you work in there, there's probably a, a system out there that'll that'll um, tick all the boxes for you. Which is great and you have all that knowledge so you can answer all those questions when they come flooding in, flooding in. So what does the future hold for Wilson Computers? What's your 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 strategy going forward, your business growth going forward? Well, um, we've really spent the last couple of years um, refining our, our product lines. Um, we've been experimenting with various different systems and, and finding the best um, solutions um, um, for, for, um, to provide to our clients. Um, we've also been um, taking on extra staff and, and, and training our staff. Um, and we've renovated the office and, and, and we're at the moment we're, we're concentrated and personally I'm, I'm concentrated on marketing, going out and meeting more, more clients um, and um, uh, providing uh, assistive proposals and that sort of thing. So, so it's, really, it's really about growth for me in, in, the, next, in the next year or two. We've, we've really got all, all our ducks in a row um, with the capacity to take on more clients and, and we're out to, uh, talking to people and hoping to, to get some more people on board. So an exciting journey ahead. You mentioned training in there as part of your plan and part of your growth plan and obviously you're in an industry where every technology changes every day so obviously training would be a big investment for you um, in your staff and something that you obviously would have a plan for. Yeah so we're working all, all the time with, with new systems. Um, we're, we're seeing uh, the systems that our, our clients are, are um, using so we're, we're constantly learning on the job but we do set aside um, training days. It's usually when other, everyone else is closed which the, the staff aren't um, particularly keen about. <laughs> <laughs> Back holidays and that sort of thing when when um, when the guys are available and we, we can sit down and, and we, we can we can do um, staff training and look at um, look at new systems, look at upcoming te technologies and that sort of thing. Um, the great thing about being in IT um, is that it's, it's quite exciting, you know, it is changing all the time um, and and generally people who work in IT are, are very interested in new technologies and that sort of thing so it's it's almost a hobby as well for, for myself and the guys so so it's something that we, we do stay on top of and we quite enjoy um, training in. Brilliant, thank you so much for coming in today thank Scott. You. So if somebody does need to give you a call, hopefully not in the middle of the night, or to get a system set up, what's the best way to contact you? Well, you can contact us through through the website at wilsoncomputers.co.uk um, or you can you can phone uh, the landline and it's 028-9146-9751. That's 028-9146-9751. No worries, that's brilliant. Thank you so much for coming in. I've learned a lot about IT that I uh, possibly didn't know before, so uh, I'm sure people would be very appreciative of the tips and advice that you've given. And obviously, if they need a deeper insight, they can give you a wee shout and uh, you'll be the man to answer all their questions. Thank you very much. <laughs> Well, that's all from us today at Profile Tree, the content marketing agency coming from the Innovation Factory on the Springfield Road in Belfast. Really hope you enjoyed watching today's video and we will see you all again soon.